Disrespectful. Everyone Did you get that? No. Yes. Hell yeah. Because he got it because no. you timed it. Because you did it on purpose, you little shit. You gosh, you gosh darn stinker. You should burp on this part. It's funnier. That joke's old already, man. The blah. Yeah, it's old. Blah. That's not, what it sounds no, like not, to me. Yeah. Welcome to everyone to another podcast where we argue about the mundane. I'm here again, yet again, in the Troy Castle in the sky. Where's Troy? It's near Albany. Where's Albany? It's in our hearts. And I'm here minds. with my brother, Chris. What's going on, folks? I did this wrong. I'm here with our producer, Brendan. Hello. And now introduce me. And now I'm here with my brother, Chris. What's going on, folks? Thanks for being here with us. We appreciate you. This episode of Everyone I Know is not brought to you by Audible.com. Because, no, we hate Jeff Bezos. Yeah, we we're, hope he's we're dead. done. We're done with that. I think I lost all the credentials, and I got to take that shit off the website, too, actually. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we should also just like not associate with Amazon. Yeah, but I think uh, probably something tangentially that we're using tangentially is that the right word Ten- oh yeah gently? every our entire existence yeah. is based on it's, pain for yeah. sure what but, i'm saying like it's, we're, we're somewhere oh we're in the aws yeah they've they Amazon. own us now yeah but regardless <laughs> if you want if you want to support the podcast that you love that you listen to every week hopefully you can go to patreon.com for such everyone i know and you can get a pangus right in yeah i make them in my kitchen it's actually in my living room but i bake them in my kitchen did you know that they're baked clay and and you can be assured, Sculpey. and you could be assured that uh, every dollar goes to to us and to uh, to the corporation Patreon and uh, to us getting better mics one day, hopefully. One day, one day. One time, it bought us Taco Bell. That was an emergency Taco Bell. That was emergency Taco Bell. Actually, no, that was wasn't that uh, wasn't that Amazon money? No, that I well maybe that was. We Amazon. got a guest today. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by a friend, a coworker. We are joined today by Danny G, the Gourmet. Dan, tell us about yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Dan, <laughs> the Gore Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nickname Chris gave me, even though it's my last name. The way he said it has become a nickname. <laughs> right, right, it's all about delivery. Yep, yep. Uh, I work with Chris. Um, and Andy and Brendan. And Andy and Brendan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is, but he only but cares about working with Chris. Chris is clearly my favorite. Hell yeah. <laughs> Andy's a close second. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, happy to be here. Cool. Excited to see where this goes. <laughs> Never listened to this podcast before, so I'm gonna find out. <laughs> Don't you have a little? Uh, oh, I toony, fucking do. Tuny tune. Oh my god, toony I'm so toony? sorry. Usually, you... I'm the person doing the guest yeah. stuff, and then I completely forgot. You guys should vamp for just one second, I think. But I bet, I bet, like one second. Chris what, what? can't read, so every week yeah. I read an email. <laughs> Too from late. Their father. <laughs> <laughs> Dan likes Halo. <laughs> This is music you fucking vape to, dog. Oh, you gotta vibe out to this. I said vape, not vibe. One then the other. Moving on, uh, every week, our- <laughs> enough of that bullshit. <laughs> Andy spends three hours a week doing all this stupid shit. We we'll love you for it. Just to just to avoid doing stuff for my PhD. <laughs> Honestly, that's what this whole podcast is about. Seriously. So every week, our father he uh, he listens to this podcast and he sends us an email with a recap of last week's episode. We call it the Old Man Minute. I used to read it, but I can't read out loud. But you know who can? Brendan. Greetings, EIK fellas. 
we just wrapped up the 19th annual Festival of Baskets. It was probably their most another, profitable one yet, and a good time had by another all. Another unsolicited plug. Yeah, we're not getting paid for this, guys. He's I plugging just love our that every week church. we talk about like whatever events happened. Yep, in Utica, New York. This is this is this is a bi regional podcast. Yeah. It, it's for both Utica fans and Albany fans. Yep. You gotta love us. Sorry. By, Sorry. by the way, Andy, St. Louis was Italian, not French. It's Louis. I am routinely reprimanded by Chris for making these emails too long, but no one gave Brendan, once again spelled correctly, any shit for reading the link I pasted on last week's email. I hope the EIK <laughs> fellas are adequately insured against age discrimination claims. Well, okay, we? boomer. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. Legend. Let's review. You have stuffed yourselves with mac and cheese, eaten shitty food at Applebee's, drank crappy beer, endured Barbarella, and now this steaming turd? What's next? Self-flagellation? I barely got through the trailer and found the Wikipedia synopsis equally painful. Either Tom Cruise was hard up for cash, was bound by a studio contract, or Legend was some sort of biz- bizarre initiation in a Scientology. It was released in 1985, shortly before he married Mimi Rogers, who turned him onto that cult. As a sidebar, did you know that Cruise dated Cher? She has two inches and 16 years on him. I Whoa. bet she threw his little ass around like a rag doll. He should be so lucky. gag doll, because there's a, there's a typo in there that says gag doll. It does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not a thing, though. Yeah, we're going to call it I wonder if Darkness and Jack were the inspiration for South Park's character, Satan and Chris. <laughs> the only utility I can find for this movie is dealing with condemned murders. What a, I guess he means murderers. <laughs> What about two hour with about two hours before sentences to be carried out, you show prisoner the trailer. Then you give them two options. Spend your last hour and thirty four minutes of life watching this stinkerama or proceed directly to the gurney. Cruel and unusual punishment? Question mark. I like Love, that. old man. Yeah, that's fun PS, for me. Tuesday is election day. Vote early. Vote often. A little late for that. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but I did on Wednesday. I did vote morning. already. I didn't vote. I didn't I should have, but I'm, I didn't I'm not registered in Albany. I am registered. Yeah, you're here. You're there to Brock the vote in Utica, baby. Hell, yeah, Hell voting yeah, center is right across matter. the street from my house, and I uh, did not vote. I would have voted, uh, but I uh, have to rush to get to this podcast. I do it for you guys. I will be ruled by fascists for you guys. Okay. Anyway, on that note, we're moving on now to topic, topic? Number, number one. I like Halo song. I tried to so uh, j- just a quick little uh, wrap up. I'm topic number one today, guys. You you know me, it's Andy. Uh, I asked Chris what kind of music uh, you're in. He was like, I don't know. I was like, okay, what kind of? He's like, he likes video games. I was like, cool. Like, what video games does he like? He goes, Zelda and Halo. I was like, hell yeah, very iconic soundtracks. Very easy to make sampled music from. Uh, then I realized that Nintendo is the uh, biggest dickheads in the world, and they don't even let youtube have uh the songs from zelda on like half of them are taken down um so if i was going to go with a uh like cover version that was the only way i was going to do it, but halo is on there so i got the halo song they oh, sent yeah, out a uh, like a disc with one of the super smash bros a couple of years back that was like all the nintendo iconic songs uh, i'm sure there's a riff of that somewhere i i would imagine i wasn't about to torrent uh <laughs> nintendo <laughs> stuff to do uh a stupid s- sample song where it says "Darren, Darren Gorman." <laughs> <laughs> you get the uh, get the G Man knocking on your door, or probably just be Mario, right? We have the G Man right here. I had Danny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, my topic this week is since you're a video game guy, this isn't one note. I promise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking about video games and how they are different from real life, and I would wonder what uh, things from a video game you would import into your real life if you had the power. So I have some examples, and we'll go through them. We'll just see, like you know, how we might have fun with them. You know, mm. okay. okay. Extra lives. Oh, that's right a off. given. Now you would like to be able to die twice. Well, yeah. Why not? Like Sekiro. Like Shadows Sekiro. Die. Shadows are die twice. Die I've twice. heard this. Or three times sometimes. Sometimes. Probably more than that, given that game. Yep. Like imagine all the things you could do if you knew you were going to respawn. Yeah, yeah. Imagine all the reckless shit you could do. Yeah. It would take. Well, so I think it would be better if you only had like. A finite amount, like you can't just get a hundred coins and then like you get a cat. Yeah, yeah, you get nine lives. Yeah, so that's kind of like you, you knock one off. All right, well, we'll try heroin this week. Knock that one off. That's a terrible way to go. Yeah. Very painful, or not? I don't know. Well, you can just I've be never stupid reckless way. until your last one, and then you go back to doing what we're doing right now. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. You get eight yeah. attempts at fighting um, the president or something. 
And then, so when you respond, though, where do you respond? Yeah, Good question. Do, 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 do the you, hospital where is, you were born? I was gonna say, is, is this is this just reincarnation? Perhaps, perhaps life's or, a video game, man. Oh, okay, uh, fucking what's his name there? Boomer, uh, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, <laughs> fucking Elon. There, we're we living in a simulation. Oh yeah, or Joe Rogan. You ever try DMT? Fuck Joe Rogan and fuck Elon Musk. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, okay. So, what about cheat codes? Would you? How would you feel to be able to enact a cheat code, and how would See, you expect it to work in the real okay. world? Okay, so like a cheat code and like extra lives. Does everybody else have extra lives? Does everybody else have access to these cheat codes? Are these just NPCs? Are we talking like Fallout style, where I could kill an NPC, or is it like I don't know a lesser? Chris, game? we live in America. Okay, okay. You can cheat kill code, all the NPCs. Cheat yeah. codes are available to you when you buy the DLC. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Perfect. Yes. No, no. We're living in EA. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm video now. game world. Okay. So cheat codes are just money. Yeah, yeah, it's basically yeah. just money. I mean, truly nowadays, it's cheat codes kinda, are just money. Extra kinda. lives, that's just health insurance. Really? Good it's health kinda, insurance. Is, right? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Huh. Break laws if you have enough money. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. You want. Yeah, you can take your, your six star wanted down to zero. Yep. Just like that. <laughs> and then eventually become the president. <laughs> yep, that is that is what happened. <laughs> so um, the moral of the story is extra lives or cheat codes still going to be the president. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh well that's so like kind of the isn't that the plot of uh what Saints Row? four he yeah, I so. he I becomes the president of earth and fights aliens and then you end up in a, like a simulation you get abducted by the aliens maybe that's in five you get abducted by aliens and then you have to fight inside the simulation um and you fight zor like they're all like i don't know these fucking nerd words i'm, I, I I'm on customer service guys i talk to people but <laughs> I, I assume that it's like x o r is like some kind of logical you know thing i i don't know xor I, XR. X or exclusive or. Yeah, exactly. See? He knows what I'm talking about. Yep, yep. Are you a video game character? I mean, you can be honest here. This is a podcast. I always wanted to be a video game character. Which video game character would you be if you were to be in a video game character? I feel like being Donkey Kong would be really fun. I don't know, that's kind of out of left field. You I know? mean, no, not at all. He seems to have a great time. He yeah, mostly he's... just bangs on stuff, yeah. collects bananas, swings from place to place. Not really, not really too big a. Uh, um, you know, odds going on too much. Like the stakes aren't very high yeah, they're, with they're Donkey not, Kong. Really, well, they are though because he is he is trying to push out some type of fascist regime regime most of the time coming into his into his. Uh, is that what I've never really? I always, I've always kind of assumed that's what was. I mean, going that's kind of what Mario is doing. Yeah, Mario is taking down Bowser the the Fash, smash and the Fash. Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong yeah. first Mario game. Yes, well, was Jump Man back then? Jump Man, Jump Man, Jump yeah. Man. Imagine Drake. if you were defined by like one action that you could do. I'm eat guy. <laughs> I'd be pretty good at that. Eating. I do it all the time. Dude. Eat shit guy. Each you eat shit. That's eat shit guy, yeah. Cool. That's what I do. I learned something about you. <laughs> um, okay, how about how about like boss fights in real life? Well, there's the president. Yep. Yep. Well, you gotta fight your regular boss. Well, I guess you gotta fight your middle manager first. Well, I'm still not. <laughs> it's, 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 that'd be it. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the mid boss. That's mid boss. That's like that's I like would, your I tutorial. Like, I like, like my management. Yeah, well, you I'd had actually to fight him. You think you could win? Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, here's the thing about video games and like respawning and stuff. Is okay. Here's the question: Would you rather live in in the real world, but it is now video game rules, or would you rather be sucked into the TV and live into the video game? Because oh, in, video game, dude. Inside of the video game, it's kind of like Valhalla. Like you just you're running around killing people, getting killed. Like doesn't matter. You know, no rules, just right. Olive Garden. Um, no, wait, that's Outback Steakhouse. But if you um, die in the video game, do you die in real life? Well, yeah, dude, that's the rule. No, dude, you don't exist in real life when you've been sucked into the TV. You're just in there now, dude. No, dude, in, in Jumanji they come back. Yes, they come back in Jumanji, but that's a movie. We're talking about video games. Get serious. Well, it's a movie about a video game. Yeah, yeah dude. Well, guess what? I didn't see the fucking new Jumanji. I didn't either. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm assuming Rock the Dwayne Johnson comes back. Rock. Rock. First of all, this shows what you fucking know about this movie. Rock Good. the Dwayne Johnson isn't even a real person He's in that. Only game. in the movie. Yeah. In the game. He is a <laughs> He's actually is only in the movie. <laughs> Honestly, though. Jack you know, Black's in it. Jack Black is in it. And a lady gets put into Jack Black's body and he's like, or she, whatever, it, you know, whatever uh, you would refer to that type of merged, they, verge, merged consciousness. Um, they, they're just like, oh, I don't want to be Jack Black. <laughs> Guess what? I'd love to be Jack Black. Fuck you. Jack Black looks like he has a good time. Absolutely. He was in yeah. School of Rock. You ever see that movie? Yep. Classic. Seems like a fun place to be. If you want to be the teacher's pet. 
You better forget. Yeah, it's a good so, song. So, uh, one of my professors in college, one of the film professors, he actually had this doll in his uh, in his office and it had like satanic markings on it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And if you picked it up and you lifted up like the back the back of uh, its shirt and it's like uh, it's diaper, it was a little message on it. It's like, you've been chosen to come backstage and meet up with, with, uh, with rock god uh, Jack Black. Oh, and, you went to like Tenacious D? And his wife got it. Damn. Yeah. And now so she's his, carrying his child? I don't... Well, they're divorced now, so maybe. Yeah, maybe. Be very happy with Jack Black. Yeah. yeah so let's see. He got that from, from a, uh, uh, like a, a, a stage guy. Gave it to, gave it to her during a, a Tenacious D concert. Did she go backstage? No, I don't think so. Well, that's the truer test of a relationship. I guess. What about power-ups? How do you feel about those? We kind of got those. They're called drugs. Drugs do not power That's you up. They make Mario. you weaker, you yeah. fool. Mario's just um, not a bunch of drugs. Which, I've been playing a lot of Outer Worlds, and you get stronger when you do drugs. Yeah, but in real life, you don't get stronger when you do drugs. Uh, is, unless it's meth. I was going to say, say meth or PCP. That's true, steroids, but those aren't, those aren't fun. Anabolic steroids? Those don't make you stronger. They just make you recover faster from no, workout. Well, well, well. I think they make you stronger. Well, they don't time. like... It's not like like spinach for Popeye. Like It doesn't like suddenly yeah, you're you strong. You, you have, still like, have to work out, which is kind of lame. Yeah, you have to like actually like work out. It'd be funny if like somebody just did steroids thinking that was going to get you buff and they just get like, <laughs> just, like fat as fuck. <laughs> Your liver's just broken. <laughs> yeah, penis tiny. Yeah, <laughs> terrible. Sounds honestly, I, so, it wait, sounds like a relief you, from all these things that were <laughs> you know selected to uh, stand up to from yeah. society. Wait, you does, know? does your dick get smaller? I thought it was just your testicles. No, there's only one way to find out. Next week on Everyone's a Critic, <laughs> anabolic <laughs> steroids. What happens is because of the amount of testosterone, your body starts producing uh, other hormones to compensate for. Like it starts producing more estrogen. That's the reason why women who take uh, testosterone start to get grow really, balls. They get all fucked up. They grow testicles. No, they don't. That's oh, exactly. that works. <laughs> not how that works. Um, okay. Uh, what about side quests? You guys been on side quests lately? I'm on a side quest right now, dog. Yeah, this is a side quest. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? <laughs> it's did, going pretty well. Did someone yeah. underneath a street lamp ask you? <laughs> Had a little exclamation point over yeah. their head. That was Chris. <laughs> it it, it kind of was. We were at the bar. I'm like, hey, Dan, beep. <laughs> Podcast side quest? Walk into the you tavern. <laughs> Talk to a stranger. <laughs> what do you guys think about rage quitting in video games? Just in general. Not rage, even, rage, like, rage quitting, I think, would be... Would be suicide, suicide I suppose. Right? But, but if you have extra lives, it wouldn't be so bad. That's true. And also, you're breaking the universe in which the game lives in, which would be like the console or the <clears throat> disc. Okay. So it would be like... Okay. If you got pissed off and you just broke existence, mm. I don't like that. You don't that like the anxiety. Nope, don't like it. I have to yeah. assume that anyone could do it, and then it was just going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could happen right now. Wait, wait, let's take a second and just think about what would happen if it did happen right now. What if it really did just happen? <laughs> That would be fucking dope, wouldn't you? Couldn't you imagine just like just the the four of us? Just, you know, flying through the DMT pinprick in the sky. We meet God. Seen, seen our dead relatives. Yeah. And Gary Busey's there. He's Gary like, Busey's fucking everywhere. I, yeah. I mean, listen. Like, literally, like, physically everywhere, but also fucking everywhere. He's always having sex with Constantly. things. I, yeah. Trees. I don't small know. animals. Gary Busey really, like a, like a horn dog? Look at his teeth. That doesn't make him... Look at his fucking teeth. By that logic, all horses are horn dogs. Oh, 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 have you ever met a horse? Wait, wait, hold on. Have you ever met a horse? (laughs) Yes, I hate horses. I don't like them. But it's mostly because they shit, not because, you know, they're doing the the sex. (laughs) Sex is beautiful. It's part of the natural experience, you know? How about this? No. Go ahead. How about this? Because this was going to be my topic, kind of. But I was going to do the reverse. What if you gotta take something from life and put it into a video game? This is off of, off of Dead Strand, Death Stranding coming out, and it's like a walking simulator essentially. And I'm mm-hmm. actually really fucking excited to just walk around with Norman Reedus and just like listen to a podcast and just like waste my night. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, do you guys have anything you you want to like supplant that hasn't already been done? Because there's a million different simulators out there now. Taxes sim. There's definitely a tax sim. Is Why there? Why do want to do that? Just enter some numbers and hit a button. Yeah. Uh, first of all, my dad is going to lose his fucking mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's He's a CPA. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the accountant sim. <laughs> Hilton and Powers uh, has issued a cease and desist yeah. over the comments, uh, the disparaging comments made about uh, accounting being just pushing buttons. 
Yeah, he does a lot of other things like uh, spin around in his chair. And you know, I'd say that you, your guy's fucking job is just pushing buttons. How it, about that? Most jobs nowadays. Are just yeah, that's pushing pretty buttons. much. That's pretty much it. Yeah. You just push buttons and talking to a microphone. No, I don't. Yeah, I'm yeah, free, you do. dog. You're, you're you're free. I give I give the cop on the way in to the job that we work at um, the thumbs down, <laughs> wild and free. I hope he shoots me. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. I have oh. a lot of fantasies about screaming that at a police officer. Is that healthy? Mm-mm. Okay. So, so Andy, what, what do you want to bring into to, from the real world into a into a video game? Big sword. Real big. You just have a big sword. Yeah, just like a really big sword, and you would swing it around, and everyone's like, "Holy you shit!" You can get a big sword. No, dude, not as big, fucking, not as big as they are in video games. <laughs> but, 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 listen. Have you been? I've have, you, have, I, I, have you been <laughs> have you been on the internet? Yes. And guess what? You can what? get big fucking swords. First of all, even okay. if I had a big sword like in video game, I yeah. couldn't even wield it because I was I was fornicating, not studying the blade. <laughs> like I should have been. <laughs> so I'm not worthy You're of You're studying it. the science, not the blade. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wasn't always studying science. Yeah. It was kind of just a joke. <laughs> science just happened to be there. Yeah. Uh, Honestly though. <laughs> What about a heads-up display? Would We're, you like that's, one of those? That's coming. Yeah. That's going to be here. That's why I want to know we how We have them on our wrists, essentially, now. Yeah, but that's not really heads-up. It's more like wrists-up. It's yeah, like dude. watch. It's like a watch. Remember, remember I don't the, get what smartwatches are for. Someone explain They're fucking them. toys. I explained this to you already. <laughs> it's a fucking toy. Dan, and you what exercise, do you use your smartwatch for? Tell me one thing that you do with it. Uh, it's a toy. I have games on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That is honestly the oh, most wait. honest thing I've ever heard about them. And sometimes yeah. I make it make a timer for me. Yeah, and then it make a timer when I when I exercise. I I, I track my exercise stuff on it. Mm-hmm. And also, um, the other day I was watching a YouTube video, and I had to get up. I was doing my Chromecast on my Chromecast, and I had to get up to uh, use the bathroom, and I forgot to pause it. But I left my phone in in the living room, and I just went on my watch and I paused it for my watch. You tippity tapped on your watch. Yeah. Bop, bop. Sick, dude. Yeah. It's worth three hundred dollars. I I got this for really cheap, actually. How much? Um. So I it, I had gotten money. Quick f- answer. Quick answer. <laughs> quick answer. I got quick m- answer. Monetary value. I had originally paid two hundred and fifty bucks for it, but then the battery was kind of shit. So I complained to Amazon, told them I wanted to return it, and they said you can have one hundred fifty bucks back. So and they cut hundred. off a worker's finger for yep. you. I got a hundred. I got Thank $100 God. Bucks, technically, glad. It's yeah. a good deal for a thing that pauses music. Yep. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> what are you guys' stats? Stats? Yeah, what are Fuck, they? I don't know, dude. Charisma is like a four. Sick. <laughs> no, Dan. It's like a four and a half. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Is this on a five point scale? Oh, I just did it. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's how you flatter a guest. <laughs> Trick them with math. <laughs> What's like our science at? What's your science at, Andy? My science is fine. Don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I know about science, but like, I don't know. I'm also like dumb and smart at the same time. Like, I don't know. Fuck. So, so in in outer worlds, um, give me, I'll give you, you can, I'll give me a seven, seven. I'll so, take a seven. Dude, in outer worlds, you can like just like kind of confuse people with just like random science knowledge, and mm-hmm. they're just like, oh, okay, fuck you, and then you just like win that conversation. Essentially, it's great. Yeah, I you, think about you every time. I don't know if I win conversations with them. I feel like it makes me lose immediately because yeah, I lose their attention. Bazinga, you know. Young Sheldon on on what's Peter's your sneak? Ball. What's my sneak? Yeah. I'm actually very good at sneaking. I'm like not a joke. <laughs> it's the latest thing. You've no, no, like not a joke. Like I'm, st- I'm I, stealthy I as fuck. A huge sword, but I'm super fucking sneaky. No, dude, I, like I'm I'm a classic I rogue. Grab a him. classic rogue, dude. I can probably learn to pick a lock, no problem. I got that kind of brain. I got the you delicate watching, fingers. Uh, you haven't been watching the lock picking lawyer. No, but I don't need to because it, I'm just naturally talented like that. I took Shout my bi- to I took my business lawyer. horoscope. Uh, um, Dan, what's your stats? What's what's your sneak at? Easily oh. a ten. Uh, people don't <laughs> notice me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think. Okay, did you guys? Here's the real question. We all work at this company. Uh, what's your disc score at? What's oh disc? my disc! I'm I'm a strong D. You, you probably didn't get one of those. Do they only do that for CS? 
Yeah, I think they only do. Why are they only giving CS the business horoscopes? Yeah, business horoscopes. Yes. It's like the Myers Briggs personality test yeah, yeah, and yeah. determines if you're if you get to be boss or something like that. It's if you're a sociopath or not. Essentially, mm. um, it's like a it's Chris got full sociopath. I got full sociopath. Dominance, influence, uh, compassion, and sympathy. No support. Support. And it's not dominance. It's uh, d- directive. I thought it was dominance. No, dude, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a strong D dog. Uh, and so, like, wh- where you score, it's like questions like, "You get upset when people don't pull their own weight." Strongly, yeah, you like you cut to the chase. Yeah, that, that's you like shit. numbers. Yeah, that's those computational like those type, or whatever. type of questions. And then where you score on that, it dictates what job you should have. I guess I don't. Fucking it determines know. your worth as a person. It, it it boils it down to a single number, which is yep. very very helpful at a tech company to know yeah. exactly. Just, how valuable you are as a person. Yeah, I just like the, that. that me and Jay had uh, scored complete opposites. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was, Jay had is, is the sun to your moon or your yeah. moon to your sun, whichever you're feeling. The yin to my, to my, to my wang. Um, I love you, Jay Ed, if you're listening. Yeah. What's up, Jay Ed? Go Sox. <laughs> Go Sox. <laughs> <laughs> I say that to Jay Ed just out of respect, you know? Really? I don't know anything about baseball or football or whatever. You almost football. <laughs> I almost said football, and then I did say baseball, and then I was like, you know, it'd be funny if I said football. <laughs> yeah, I was back. say football. <laughs> all right. Life's a video game, dog. Just play, you know? We're all on fucking Spaceship Earth. Yeah, man. Hear that. That's the sound of a vape. Is it? <laughs> no, I'm, that's the sound of a, of a Paps Blue Ribbon uh, Easy. Oh, you're throwing a bomb now. <laughs> That's very unpleasant. Topic. Topic. You belch in the microphone constantly. The people ask for it. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. I mean, I enjoyed it. (laughs) Thanks, Dan. Number Number two. two. Uh, So I want to talk about superpowers. Hell yeah. Okay. (laughs) We've heard all of the normal ones like flying and super strength and all that crap. I don't want to talk about the ones that like your everyday person would have, mm-hmm. um, or that might like be sort of mundane. I'm done with that. Uh, so, for example, I have um, you just roll perfect burritos. Your burritos oh, are always perfect. perfect. Nice. We had a guy and with that opposite superpower at the cafe yeah. downstairs yeah. for a yeah. while. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's the fucking Lex Luthor <laughs> <laughs> to this to the super well, burrito maybe, man. Maybe he was just really good at it, and just one day decided he's gonna fucking do it anymore. Maybe he was yeah. so he rolled such a good burrito that it killed his wife, and he said <laughs> never again. His powers were a prison, and he needed to break out of it. He rolls shitty burritos on purpose. So, like you know, uh, uh, like being able to get the USB in the right time. Yeah, that's not even a thing anymore. Dude, you have the I fucking uh, well, guess what? USB three I don't know, maybe whatever. I can get that shit in in the first try because I took a second. And if you look at the goddamn thing, there's a side with holes in it that goes down onto the chip. Yeah, right, but you, can't be sh- you can't be sure every time. Sometimes yes, you fucking can. Down, and what happens if it's like a vertical USB? You don't know what you're doing to that. Dude, you just gotta look. You just gotta use your fucking eyes. I don't have time for that. <laughs> nah, dude, you're lying. You're fucking fronting, dog. I've got many mundane superpowers. Yeah? Yeah. What, what, <laughs> like? Like, I can get the USB in on the first time. I am this person. I swear to you, I will do it. I could... I, I will take the fucking challenge, the speed and a- accuracy challenge against anyone in this fu- on this fucking planet, on any planet. Putting a USB in first race, time, no problem. The Olympic sport. Yeah, I would. I would wreck that shit. Okay. Okay. What what what, what other what other mundane superpowers do we got? What uh, do you think? I have some. I have. You can speak to animals, but you can't make them trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. It's like, all right, well, uh, human over here is talking to you, but I don't know about him. I would love to tell my cat that there's only uh, two meals in a day and that lunch, but he wouldn't lunch trust is a fucking... you, so it wouldn't matter. Right? I'd be like, hey, you know, lunch is actually a CIA plot to make you want, uh, eat more cat food. And then, well, I don't know about that power. That. I actually trust the government. Yeah, I like everything about being able to talk to animals is only good because you could make them trust. Yeah. You. Right? If they like listen to you and then do things for you maybe you could like do a faint within a faint though you know okay. reverse psychology of the animals mm-hmm. like because if you have a constituent as something yeah, as a science man you understand oh, if you have a constituent Jesus. issue you can always push it in the opposite direction as long as it gives you the same results every time but 
this is all presupposing that the animals are dumber than you. That, that, that we're being real, real, real uh, specious. Specious. It's you true, though. Fucking boomers. Well, I think it depends on the animal. Okay. Yeah. I, I couldn't see, like, talking to a dog and that dog not fucking trusting you. I mean, some people are really maybe mean to dogs. Yeah, that's true. Maybe the dogs trust you in real life, the ones that you can't communicate with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't know, like, you know, the shit that you say. They're like, yeah. this guy seems really good and, like, normal, <laughs> cool. The burps totally make sense in context. <laughs> if they actually heard you, they'd be like, are you fucking moron? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? This guy? He walks me? Who's walking who? Am I right? I hate Mondays. <laughs> Imagine if, like, our pets actually rose up and realized how much power they really have. There's a Rick and Morty episode about that. Yeah, there is, actually. <laughs> Where true. are my balls? <laughs> Where are my balls, Summer? Um, my testicles. I always think about that, because I we I have one cat that sleeps on top of me every night. Um, and I think about, like, it's like an apex predator. Like, they're smaller yeah. and cuter, but, like... They could murder you and... They could really fuck you up. A squirrel could fuck you up if it really tried. Well, th- thinking about it, like the, the, the your, your kitty and your puppy, they're they're on the top of the food chain with you. Yeah, they uh, yeah. They, they rode that gravy chain to the top. They got it right. They really did. They don't they, work. They hitch their wagon to the right work. to the right other wagon, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Horse. What do you hitch a wagon to? A horse. Car. Car. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Depends on the size of the wagon. <laughs> Centipede. Snail. <laughs> Wagon's like the size of your finger. Yeah, this is a small, very cute wagon. What else? What else we got? Uh, you can see through solid objects unless they're already see through. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would just <laughs> so your weakness is glass. <laughs> yeah, it's if you're the only person with this power, it'd be. It, I Chris, see, are you I trying see, to find a, a non-perverted like well, way no, to do no, this? No, oh no, 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 you're trying to find a, the most. The, you're going through all the thousands of possibilities yeah, looking yeah. for the I'm, most I'm, perverted I'm a, version I'm of it. I'm fucking Doctor Strange here, trying to trying yeah. to figure out the, the perfect thing where I. Those I hand become, motions were good. Did you like that? Yeah, it was just like in the, in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to find the, uh, the the algorithm where where I become a cult leader because I can see through things, but I need my followers to tell me about glass. <laughs> It'd be super easy. You'd just be like, "Hey, put anything in this box. I'll tell you what it is." And it's like, mm, "That's a it's a ring." Yeah, and then then they're like, what? "But I, I'm not infallible. Like, I cannot even see what's inside that glass." Mm-hmm. And, and that's like, how they trust you. Yeah, and then I say that's five dollars. But then their cats are like, "I don't trust this fucking guy." <laughs> 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 like him? No, no. Uh, you think about the super villain though. Like he builds his house completely out of glass, and then he can just see you wherever you are, and then you're just you have no power at all. You know what's great against Fuck. glass? No, though? that's bad. The cult though, the cult can see through it. Right, you gotta get oh, right. followers. Get but followers. I'm the super villain because I'm the cult leader. Okay. You know what's great against glass? Mm. Rocks. Oh Jesus. Mm. He does have a glass house. Yeah. You just get a bunch of rocks. Start oh, I thought you. The way you said that and looked straight at Dan, I thought you meant that Dan lived in a glass house. Yeah, and I, I was like, in a glass house. That was like cool. Tell me more. That'd be awesome. Everybody privacy. Everybody see you make a, making booms in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> These nasty, stinky PMs. You gotta go There's glass. a superpower. You gotta glass. <laughs> yeah. No wiper. That's every pre- fucking time. Every time no wiper, but also every time no smell. Mm. It's like, no, 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 no. That's 100% stealth. If for, in order to get 100% stealth in your stats, you have to poop completely silently, completely cleanly, completely it's, it's gotta be. It's got to be one or the other, man. You got to have the ink to the yank. You gotta have you gotta have the glass to the uh, to the unbreakable. Mm. So if it M. Smell, you just wipe forever. Yeah, exactly. You can just never be clean. <laughs> well, that's obviously the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying it doesn't smell, but you just got like a marker down yeah, there, yeah, dude. But nobody will ever know. It's uh, it's like it's a that, shame that you bear. Yeah, yeah. It's like the the guy pushing up the uh, the the boulder up the hill and it falls. Sisyphus. Sisyphus, yeah. Learn your Greek mythology. Fuck you. It's very important. Fuck you. You won't get through life unless you learn Greek mythology. Read That's Ovid. what they told us in fucking fifth grade. And guess what? I learned it. <laughs> oh, man. What, what would be a good mundane superpower to just, to just have for a couple days? Like, I'd like to be like the human torch, be- but for That's a couple days. Mundane. It's not mundane at all. That's if for, once you superpower. get used to it, it's mundane. Fuck <laughs> you. I wasn't listening. I'd say uh, being good with money be a pretty cool superpower. You're bad have. with money, dude. I'm really bad with money. Yeah. I'm good with money. I'm good with money because I don't get paid dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's Even been that when way I, for like well, five I, years. I don't get paid anything. I'm still not good with money. Money's not there to be spent. So yeah, exactly. Money. Thank you, Dan. It's no good sitting as a number in a bank account. Yeah, Dan, are you encouraging him at work? Is this something that you do? Probably. You encourage him? <laughs> You make him feel good. 
Yeah. We have a strict policy about that. We can't do that. I mean, our it's team too is big for... I don't know about your team, but we're, we're... My team is good. It's great. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Well, I, haven't, I haven't met everybody yet, like, face-to-face. Really? Well, I mean, like, I'm scared to walk around. <laughs> I mean, I'm not scared of like any of you fucking people. Like, <laughs> okay, like listen to me. Like, I'm I'm scary. I'm crazy. But like, also like, I don't like to walk on that side of CS. I got my nice corner where Nick sits and Alex sits. And Jay had it is. That's it. Yeah, that's all I have to say. But I'm not scared of you fucking nerds. Yeah. I'm a different kind of nerd. I'm what a if, wild nerd. What if like you you were always the correct temperature? You were never too hot or cold. God, that'd be fucking awesome. That would be nice. Imagine all the places you could go. You yeah. never get to wear a beanie. I didn't, I didn't even think about that. I'm just thinking like, I'd be able to fucking sleep mm. and not not like have Julie be freezing. You can curl up under all the blankets and still just be nice and warm. Yeah. Or nice and or cool. Or nice and the right temperature. Yeah. <laughs> but you could never enjoy a nice beanie. Because wouldn't, wouldn't that upset yeah, your equilibrium? You could no, turn no. it off. Yeah, you could just be like, all right, I want to wear a beanie today. Uh-huh. And then or you just, just, or just, re, all, just recalibrate. No, or you just always wear a beanie because you're always the correct temperature. Welcome to the beanie zone. Yeah, welcome to the beanie zone. And, and by, the way, beanie and by the way, by the way, bam, 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 bam. it's officially beanie oh. season, everybody. It's been beanie season no, for a No, but first, fro- first frost is beanie season. No, dude. Welcome to beanie season. You will probably not see the top of my head for quite some time. So I hope you got your time in now. Hope you got your pictures to compare my hairline at the end of in spring. <laughs> It will be different. Um, what if, what if God were one of us? What could if, what if you were a transformer, but just into like one, um, like different person? What if like, like you just turn like were human beings, but it was like really grotesque, like a fucking like a Cronenberg school, style, like Cronenberg, like and they like scream the entire time, like like uh, like, American like American Werewolf, Werewolf in London, yeah, 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 and then they turn into cars, and they just turn into a fucking car. Is the car like? Skin colored? Yeah, probably. It probably <laughs> smells too. It smells really fucking. We're bad. all probably pretty stinky on the inside. Everybody I bet. Stinky on the Sounds inside, like dog. something that comes out at three a.m. on Adult Swim. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> fucking man cars. Yeah, man car. And you have Dan the car, Gorman, <laughs> car man, man car former. That's what we'll call. Probably it. turn to a fucking longboard or something. That'd be so fucking lame. Turn a longboard. Yeah, you-, you need someone to push you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I need somebody to drive. It wouldn't be like kid. Like if you turn into a car, like you wouldn't drive yourself. You would just become a car. <laughs> like somebody, <laughs> unless, unless like yeah, some, somebody <laughs> has to get inside me, dog, and like, <laughs> push my buttons, dog. Um, yeah, yeah. If you could pilot any celebrity, celebrity for a day. No, 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 pilot, pilot like uh, uh, like Evangelion. Like uh, like a like, like a being mech, John Malkovich, like Gundam, like a Gundam. No, 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 like like the super sized version of of one celebrity. Oh, they have no, to be super. He's a normal sized man. You're very tiny. No, that's no, what I'm like proposing. The, I'm, going, I'm going going the other way. Well, guess what? Welcome to my universe well, now. Just, I think that's just being John Malkovich. Yeah, it's yeah. You just get into John Malkovich's head. Yeah, but you got to be in a small room, like kicking and punching. You know, cops or whatever. I don't know. I'm very fixated on the person. police today. Nick got a ticket today. That's why I'm fixated on the police. I'm sorry. Mm. I, I would want to be in a gigantic Gary Busey. Yeah. Fucking I'm, everywhere. Just fucking <laughs> I don't everywhere. believe that Gary Busey has ever had sex. That man has a son that looks exactly like him. Artificial and That doesn't prove anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Science is very cool now. That's what they say about science these days. They say very cool. Very There's some advanced. chance that like he just jizzed and he grew out of that. <laughs> Birthed out of a fucking I mean, dish. he probably sneezed out such a concentrated well, glob of cocaine well, yeah. booger <laughs> that sentient. it became yeah. what's what's his kid's name? Dave Busey, Greg Busey, Shithead Busey, Gary Busey too. No, yeah. it's not. It's like Steve Busey. He was in yeah. Starship Troopers. Oh yeah, he was, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he got his brain slurped. Yep, yep. If I'm not mistaken. Did he get his brain slurped? I don't know. Oh. I don't care. I don't know. He, play, he played a violin at some. Point. He did play the violin with his giant Gary Busey chin. Mm-hmm. He used the chin to play the violin. Like, Very important part of playing a violin. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Well, she said this guy was an expert. No, I, I'm imagining him like, I don't know. Doesn't I'm thinking like play violin like a guitar. That's not how you play a violin. <laughs> <laughs> you can how play... would you play a guitar with your chin there, you can man? Pull, yeah, that's pointy that's your chin, superpower. You can, like, pluck the strings. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the superpower. Chin. You can play guitar. You can play violin amazing, but you have to play it like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that would fucking shred. If well, you can make it sound the same. <laughs> do you think the world is ready for another like hardcore violinist like uh, f- vis-a-vis Dave Matthews band? 
What? The guy from Dave Matthews Band was First sick. All, the actually, space uh, between. There are a billion metal bands oh, that have violin yo, players. I got a really good uh, uh, mundane uh, fucking superpower. Lay it you out, have, man. You have perfect pitch. You have the best voice in the world, but you can, can only, only sing, sing Dave, Dave Matthews, Matthews Band songs. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. That's what Dave Matthews has. <laughs> yeah, that, is. <laughs> that is kind of his fucking superpower. <laughs> The space between. What if? Okay, here's here's a um a, a rather blue um mundane superpower. Okay, you're very good at sex. Uh huh. But you can only have sex with Sting. Do you just, do you just, that's all you would do. Yeah, all the man day, every day. Fuck for right, hours. Exactly. It's like Sisyphus. It never yeah. ends. <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing your best moves at him, and he just he just can't keep fucking he fucking it's takes perfect counter load after load after load. No, there's <laughs> load. no there's no loads. But you can take it because you're the tantric. best. It's tantric. It's tantric. Oh my god! It never happens. He's it's fucking he's the unmovable object, object, and you're the unstoppable force. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What if you had the ability to charge your phone? But uh-huh. only to like ten percent. I I fucking murder myself because you know like ten percent is where your phone starts getting goofy. It starts getting like drunk. Like I'm not having enough power. Uh, no, I I wouldn't. I would uh, I wouldn't use a phone. No, well, maybe it'll prevent your phone from blowing up. Or so that 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 joke never gets old. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have a Samsung. Brendan thinks that Chris has an explosive device on him at all times. Yeah. What was this dispute about? The Samsung phones that were the, the notes that were exploding. No, like I remember that four years ago. But why was it directed at you? Because it's an Android phone. Yours is not Android. No, no. He, he's a, he's an iPhone. Oh, have you seen my stuff? I'm a bad fanboy. I don't yeah. even care. You know, when I think about it, Apple. As long as my phone doesn't blow up. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that's yeah. why I'm worried about Chris. Chris could take it though. He's tough like that. No, I'm not a little baby. What? Imagine if you were so baby boy. Maybe. What if you were invincible, but you're only invincible to <laughs> Samsung exploding? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to run around the earth, stopping people from fucking dying from Samsung's. I think it would go the opposite way. I would like take a bunch of Samsung phones and start chucking them at people. <laughs> oh yeah. You make that the dominant yeah, weapon, yeah. and then then you just you rule the world in the in the world. Of skunks, the man with half a nose is king. You could just strap a bunch to yourself and like dive into an Al Qaeda hideout. <laughs> <laughs> suicide bombing without the suicide. Sounds like the plot of that fucking show, uh, The Boys. Da Boys. Yeah. Da Boys. The show's fucking awesome. Did you guys see the trailer? No. I didn't either. Mm. I just saw that I was on my Sick. Stage. I didn't watch cool. It. <laughs> yeah. well, let's all take five minutes and watch it real quick. <laughs> yeah. On air. <laughs> all right. Anybody got any, any other uh, mundane superpowers? Danny, you got anything else you, uh, you, you, want, you want to field? No, not really. I think that's pretty much it. What if you cool. always knew what time it was? I wouldn't like that. Why? I like the surprise. You like the surprise of time? So this morning... <laughs> You're a simple man, and I love you. <laughs> this morning... I love you for it. I, 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 have a, I have a very bad habit of snoozing like a million fucking times. No, never heard of this. Yeah, so my first alarm goes off at 6, and that immediately gets turned off. And my next alarm goes off at 7, and that gets snoozed progressively until about 7.40. And then normally I get up around 7.40. Sick. Um, and then today I thought I had hit the snooze button tw- uh, three times, but I only hit it twice. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta get up. I'm like halfway to the bathroom and I looked at my phone or my watch or something. I'm like, oh, it's fucking 7.30. I fucking time traveled. It was pretty fucking sweet. Honestly, though, with the, when you started to describe that, I just realized that I purposefully have not fixed my clock. I fixed my clock to the time, daylight savings time, which, by the way, get rid of it. We're done with it. Yeah, don't We're an so. anti daylight savings I don't like time this. podcast. Um, like this too dark. but also I just fix the time, but my, the clock on my, in my car is like 20 minutes fast. Yeah. And I just left it. Mm-hmm. And I know that it's like about 20 minutes fast, but it makes me feel good on the way to work because I'm like, oh man, I'm going to be late. And then I get there. I'm like, I'm not late at all. As long as you don't know exactly how fast it is. It, it my, is. my clock. It's like 21 my minutes. Car, I'm like pretty sure. My car is, uh, my clock, my car is two minutes slow. So I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to make it just in time. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're. A dumbass. You've been driving this car for three years, and it's been the same. How about your mundane superpower is you're unaffected by the daylight savings time changes? I don't know, so, man. Dude, yeah, that, I fucking take that, <laughs> dude. What if how would that even work? You just, you just like wouldn't get logy when this shit happens. Yeah, it just it would happen, and you just like wake up like normal. And then when people complain about it, it wouldn't even bother you either. Yeah, you're just like, oh, yeah. that sucks, dude. Dude, what if you also liked Mondays? 
Your true madman. That's, that's your superpower. And you hate you, Yeah, you like Yo, Mondays, but you hate relax. Fridays. And curse, curse, it's Friday. <laughs> Every time someone's like, oh, it's Friday, I was like, hey, what? You don't like me? You don't want to be around me at work oh anymore? You're done with me for the week? Dude, I got my up, feelings. I got it's up. You, on, it's me. <laughs> I got up on Monday this week, and I'm, I'm like getting ready for work. I'm like, God, I fucking hate Mondays. And I actually said it unironically, and I wanted to fucking damn, die. dude. <sighs> dude, you gotta. I, I just gotta make a change. Something's <laughs> wrong, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Fuck. <sighs> I hate lasagna. I love lasagna. How can you hate lasagna? It's gross. It's everything. That it's you would too want much a stuff. Meal. It's too much stuff. But it's all the same stuff. Yeah, but it's too much. It's too much. Ran 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 what, what is the too much? It's it's just there, there, there's too much. What would you take there, out? I wouldn't take any. No. Okay. The the components by themselves. Yes. Yum. Good. Looks good. But it, it, together, there's too much slop. There's too much to eat. Gives me a stomach ache. Makes me shit my pants. But what would you like take? That's out. just because you're lactose intolerant. You're saying yeah. there's too much. What, yeah, what, what do you for, remove then? Nothing. You just don't eat the dish. You just like eat ricotta cheese with a spoon. Yeah. So you're well, saying with the sub of their hand. Yeah. Like you're saying fucking also, I'm a simple tip. man. Make your uh, make your lasagna with bechamel, not with ricotta. Yeah, well bechamel makes everything better. But ricotta's easy. Mm. <laughs> and then we're moving on now to <laughs> topic. Bechamel's, bechamel's not bechamel's hard. Hard. Number. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Three. Three. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, let's get no this. more funny business. Yeah, no more funny business. Let's get this fucking straight. We're gonna in. watch the entire <laughs> The Boys trailer, and everyone's gonna be fucking quiet. <laughs> All right, so um, with the release of Death Stranding, um, you're seeing a lot of uh, famous actors in this game, like Norman mm-hmm. Reedus, Mads Mikkelsen, Gary Busey. Uh, Gary Busey. God, I wish. Um, we I should be so lucky, Dan. <laughs> Dude, and this not really been a thing. It's been like in the past. But Ellen not... Page is in that one game yeah, that yeah. wasn't The Last of Us, but the lady in The Last of Us looked yeah. like Ellen Page. But then there was that other game, Twin Flames. Yeah, that would, yeah. Or and, Twin and Shadows. Then, like, or like Bruce Willis was in like a Fifth Element game. Was he? Yeah, but it, like it was like for like PS2. So like nobody. It was like knew Juice it was Willis though. Did yeah. it actually look like him? So it's not really a thing. And like uh, uh, John Snow was in fucking Ghosts for COD, I think. Didn't know that. Call of Duty Ghosts. Mm. Right. There's someone in Modern Warfare 3, too. Yeah, it doesn't happen that often. Mm. But now Death Stranding, they've gone. Fucking like, wiggity like, wild like, with it. Like the, the trailer is a full on like movie trailer. Like, yeah. With Matt Nicholson. With fucking Dead Norm Mc- Man. With Norm McDonald. Hands Man. S- starring Conan O'Brien. Eat like, Man. Well, they kind of did the same thing with Cyberpunk 2020. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. But that was only just with like Keanu. Well, I'm sure there are other people, yeah. but he's like the, the face. So, he's the main hunk. Yeah. So my my question to you is if 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 I'm going to read off, I, I've got some choice uh, movie stars. And see where you guys want to put in video games. You guys got any any ideas for other guys you want to see in video games or girls or whoever? I'll throw them out there too. But I'm gonna start right from the top. I got Zach Galifianakis. What game is he in? I want him to be or Wario. A ge- or, or a genre or, or or a specific character. I want him to be Wario. So like like a hy- <laughs> like, like a hyper realistic like yeah. Wario where he's like actually like taking down banks and stuff like that. Somebody mm-hmm. should just, just take fucking Zach Galifianakis and edit him into the existing Super Mario Brothers movie <laughs> as Wario. Now here's a question: If he's Wario, who's his Waluigi? Oh, oh Nick Cage. Who's Nick gang? Cage? Who's the gangly Zach Galifianakis? Is my question. Also. This is a pro Waluigi podcast. Just put it out there. That man's been disrespected over and over I think again. Nick Give Cage him his own be game. Waluigi. I could see. I, what, is, is, is he really? Nick Cage is more of a like Mario or crazy. Luigi. I, I think Nick Cage more Bowser. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's Dennis oh, Hopper. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rest <laughs> in peace. Rip to the greatest. All right. What about Steve Carell? Steve Carell. Hmm. I'd like to see Steve Carell in like a really inappropriate spot, like skate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an unlockable fucking. Like, or he's he's the main character. He's the main character you, you, in Skate. You get like Skate Five or whatever it is now, and like your 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 avatar is just Steve Carell, and, and you can just put no different fucking baseball caps on him. That's that's, that's your only fucking <laughs> and like, it's, customization. And it's different suits. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm thinking of him like the Office era where he's yeah. like only in the suit. Yeah, just always suit. Okay. Always suit Skating and dress pants. Suit. Somebody go mod a PS2 game and make <laughs> Steve Carell's Pro Skater 2. That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> All right, what about... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What about, uh, what about uh, Seth Rogen there? Seth Rogen. He could just be Guillermo del Toro in Death Stranding. <laughs> Actually, that'd be pretty fucking sweet. I could see him in a Kojima game, just showing up randomly. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then he like tortures you or something. Yeah. He like yeah. puts like electrodes on your shirt. He's, de- he's definitely he's definitely a villain of some sort. Um, okay. He's a real villain in real life too. Seth Rogen? No, no, he's, no, he's, nice. he's probably a nice guy. Yeah, he's he's probably a nice, nice guy. Yeah, he's I'm just really kidding. Good. What about uh what about uh Michael Sarah? Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. Where what game is Michael Sarah? Like Paperboy? <laughs> I was thinking like, uh, even like a like a retro like two D game like it's just Michael oh, Cera oh, like um, side scrolling. Uh, 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 what's it called? The game he's actually <laughs> I just remembered Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Mm. Well, yeah. I want to see him as uh, Link. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, like a reinvention of Link with Michael Cera. He just really just kind of awkward the entire time. Yeah, falling yeah. over and dropping his sword all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it, like somehow works really well. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gary Busey. He's a horse simulator. <laughs> he just, you just ride Gary Busey. Just Gary Busey simulator. Yeah, just, <laughs> no, it's just Gary Busey. Okay, here we go. Here's the video game. Gary Busey simulator. You walk around um, beating up millennials with your gin breath. <laughs> just breathe on everyone. Just breathe on everybody. Like, uh. It's like Booger Man. You remember yeah, yeah. Booger Man? Yeah, yeah. Or Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Earthworm Gary. Earthworm Gary. Um, uh, Paul Rudd. Anything he wants. Yeah, yeah. seriously. He he's, can do whatever he wants, and I'll be okay with it. Yeah, he's he's a good, he's a good, he's a good guy. He could be like Mass Effect, so you could you know make him <laughs> make him date different people, it's just like a Paul Rudd dating simulator. But he wouldn't be dating anybody. He'd just be making friends with everybody. That's true. Like he'd be like going from his best friend to his other best friend, but he doesn't want to make his other best friend feel bad, so he goes and spends more time. We all be best know, friends you know together, local, right? Say again. Yeah, he's local. Get him on the cast. What do you mean, Paul Rudd's local? Yeah, he lives in Rhinebeck. The f- where the fuck is Rhinebeck? It's very short drive down. How short? Hit him up. I and will get him on the cast. I can't believe you guys haven't already done this. Like an hour. I'll drive an hour to get Paul Rudd. I yeah. drive five hours to get me a piece of Rudd. Hear that? Paul he owns Rudd? a he owns a candy shop down there. Paul Rudd. Of fucking owns course a he does. Candy shop. Of course he owns a candy shop. He, he owns a candy York. shop with um, the guy that plays Negan on The Walking Dead. Because he also lives in Rhinebeck. What? Why do you? First of all, why do you know this? Second of all, why have you held it from me for yeah. this long? Like, what is this? I don't know. Lots of celebrities. I thought we had live, some trust, Brendan. Huge amounts of celebrities live between basically like Rhinebeck and Hudson. I'm not happy about this. Jesus Just saying. Christ. Why don't we Paul, get them on a podcast? Paul Rudd, come on the podcast. Okay, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. I want Jonah Hill in a like. Post-apocalyptic zombie. You want him film. looking like shit. Yeah. You want to see a Jonah? Yeah. Hill? Which Jonah Hill is it? Uh, like old Jonah Hill or new Jonah? Hill? Yeah. Those are two very different. What's Jonah, Jonah Hill right now? Because he, I don't, he lost a bunch of weight. He's, he's he, a yo-yo guy. Yeah, he, he goes, goes back up and back and forth. forth. Is he thin again? I don't know. I, I don't like he's him thin. Right he makes me fucking nervous. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. It's just like I just feel like you know people made him sad and then he got thin. Yeah. And I don't want my Jonah Hill feeling sad. I like Let's say Hill. like it's the uh, the super bad Jonah Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's where I got most of the names Mario. on this list. <laughs> okay, so you just want to make a super bad game. I want no. I want Superman Jonah Hill to be Mario. Okay, okay, okay. And he gets to talk like that and act like that. Okay, so we already have a Mario. We have a we have a Wario. Come on, let's get a fucking Luigi going here. Let's just do it. Come on, you know it's coming. A Luigi. Who's the Luigi? Fucking Michael Sarah, dude. Luigi. Oh, there, there we fucking go. C- 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 come on. And once again, we didn't answer the question of Waluigi. Who is Waluigi? Do we really need Waluigi? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me with this shit? I told you to vet our guests. You asked them if they're down with Ouija or not. You only like Ouija because of the meme. No, I like him because he's evil. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cage. And he's weird Nick looking, like me. Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Nick Cage is not Waluigi. He's too much of a... Huh. Well, then who's Waluigi? Someone is... Uh, probably not a famous person. He's got to be a real <laughs> piece right, of shit. Andy's Waluigi. <laughs> I would... Andy Dick. Andy Dick. <laughs> Andy Dick is <laughs> Waluigi. Well, no, 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 no. What, no perverts in our no. game? <laughs> no. It's the fucking weasel. The weasel, <laughs> the weasel, Polly Shore, Pauly Shore, DJ Polly Shore, DJ Polly. What video game is he in, though? Polly Shore, fucking Guitar Hero, Guitar Hero. <laughs> He's the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I could have seen him getting like 
some weird like one of those weird in between licensing deals with with video games like it would have been like the the rock band like exclusive poly shore symbol that you could get it's just him like doing the yeah (laughs) the entire fucking remember this kid who's bowser nick cage Dennis Hopper, man. Dennis Nobody Hopper, can top can, Dennis, Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Have you actually watched the Super Mario? I have watched it a hundred times. I've watched it once. It's so bad. It's very the, bad. But it's so bad. It's the, good. The, the riff tracks of it is amazing. Is oh, it? Yeah, it's very good. I just saw Mystery Science Theater live recently, hey, you and it was bitch. amazing. I should have gone to that. Okay, so who else? Who else? You guys got anybody else want to see a see, see, see video game? I feel like we need some good action stars. Yeah. Rock Dwayne Johnson. He's in WWF. Done. <laughs> <That's too easy. laughs> Don't call Steve Austin. Also Austin. in WWF. Done. Ellen Page in that game, not The Last of Us. Guy Fiati. Oh, dude, he's pr- he probably has his own game. Like I'm not, I'm like no, I would bet not some fucking mobile game not yeah some, for not, sure not, we for he, sure he mobile game has a mobile but game, he could have caught like that Xbox PS2 like Xbox 360 wave he could have caught it I think that he may have been no. popping right when that shit was about so, to go into its grave put him in cooking mama just replace him. <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> that's a mod somebody probably already made I'd be kind of okay. surprised we take Guy Fieri yes we take the guy from Smash Mouth the dude from ICP. And it's that that's just it's like Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, that, that, that's that's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. You're describing Metal Gear Solid. and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, you're Solid Snake. Yeah. Well, who, well, who's who? Come on, let's go. So who's our Solid Snake? Who's our Liquid Snake? Who's Solid Snake? Solid Snake. I'm going to say. That's wait, Smash Mouth, dude. Do you think he has the most power? Because that's the president of these United States. No, Guy Fieri is the most. No, power. no, 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 no. Guys, who you play. You're a guy. You're, 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 that, that is, that's Solid Snake. That's not Solidus. Who's the third guy? Uh, the dude from ICP. Yes. Shaggy 2 Dope. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy 2 Dope. Shaggy 2 Dope is Solidus because he's evil. Okay. Is and, he evil though? Yes. And he has a legion of followers. He does. He is whoop, evil. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We are a pro Juggalo podcast mm-hmm. because they oppose fascism. <laughs> they do. Thank you, Juggalos, for yep, beating yep. people up. We need a lot more people. Are they still, uh, are they still a gang? Consider it again. Uh, I think that was just a joke. Oh no, no, they, they, no! It was they, real, but I think it was yeah. like one of those government jokes where they like, you know, they classify somebody as a gang and then kill their leader or something. I think that that's why they yeah, sent. That's what they did with the Cuba. That's why they sent. Yeah, <laughs> and Malcolm X. Um, that's why they sent uh, a, JFK, uh, Shaggy Two Dope, to do that suicide mission against Fred Durst. Oh yeah. Or was it Kid Rock? No, that wasn't Shaggy Two Dope. That Who was, was that? That was a skinny dude. Oh, Violent J. Yeah, Violent J. Jay. Oh well. Yeah. Maybe he's the CIA op. Maybe he was supposed to kill Shaggy Two Dope, and his uh, his Manchurian programming didn't kick in the right way. <laughs> Shaggy Two Dope is clearly solid as Snake. Okay, I'll take Solid that. Snake is Guy Fieri. Yep, and Smash Mouth is Liquid. Yep, because he sings. He's got a beautiful voice. Liquid nice. brother. He's got brother. a he's got a beautiful voice. You have him backwards, by the way. Shaggy Two Dope is the skinny one. Oh. Is he? Okay. Violent J. Also, when you Metal Gear, when you Google Violent J, the first thing that comes up is a picture of Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's very easy. It's very easy to, to to find them all together. It's wonderful. Actually, Brendan, that happened with you recently. Uh, did I tell you about that? The guy from the special, Luke Beeman. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys have the same face too, so you don't commit crimes at, on his behalf, or don't hope he doesn't commit crimes. Those for are you? Dan. Those are three different people. Uh, I believe it. Uh, look at that one guy's face. That's Covered makeup. Clown makeup. That's makeup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 Joaquin Phoenix. Oh God. What's he in? In the new Jokester game. He's in a Kojima game. Yeah, he probably would be in a Kojima game, but he yeah. could also be in like a like a you know thriller uh, horror game. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a Silent Hill. You know. Mm-hmm. Haunted Mansion type deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everything, everywhere you look, it's just his cleft lip scar. He's Slenderman. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I would love but, but, to see but, that. But really, he doesn't like kill anybody. He just like just, just kind of holds them and is like, it's going to be okay. He just squeezes I, I, I lost my brother. It's okay. Did you ever see Gladiator? He squeezes dad to death and that. I forgot he's in Gladiator. He's great in Gladiator. It's fucking awesome. I don't want to see these images anymore. Oh, you know, Brendan? Without the makeup. Oh, wow. Well. Wow. Put, put, put the makeup back on. Yeah, they, they're, <laughs> the ICP guys, listen, bless their hearts. Yeah. 
They're ugly as fuck. <laughs> That's why they wear so much makeup. Yeah. I actually, uh, there's a, a podcast called Sound Exploder. Um, yeah, has, love that. Um, they just did one on uh, Slipknot. It was very good. Which song? Uh, one of the new songs from the new album they just put out. Who cares? Why do they do this? This is my bone to pick with Song Exploder. No one gives a shit about the new music. The reason yeah. why you're getting them out on the on the podcast is because they're down on their luck. Yeah. They did one with, with Nine Inch Nails. Is really they good. did an old song. Or they did... No, they, uh, they, did, they did something off of Ad Violence. That's because Nine Inch Nails is still good. Yeah. But like they, they used to do classic songs from them. Um, so... Take that Raj on Boomerang. Yeah, Ra. why don't we like start ja mas- Ra. Ra. why don't we start like masquerading as like a uh, a good podcast? Like, like when we start per- to like reach out with people and like just pull the rug out from Hey, them we're anything. song exploder. <laughs> 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 no, just tell them that we're from like this American life or something like that. I'm this American life. Yeah. I'm we're that we're, guy. we're a derivative. I, I do I swear to God, if you like sent them an email like, hi, uh, you know, my name's Andy. I'm, I'm from uh, everyone I know. We're uh, an offshoot of this American life. Do you want to come talk to us on, on a podcast? I bet you would get people. Yeah, but then we'd be getting people under false pretenses. Yeah, but then once they come in, they become our friends. That's not and how you though. get more people. Yeah, exactly. They tell all their friends. It's true. And all we gotta do is bamboozle one person. Can we bamboozle like a shithead? I don't want to like. I'm not. I wouldn't do this to Paul Rudd. No, God no. That's what I'm God, saying. Like, no. I'm not trying to gamble my real friendship that I could have with Paul Rudd <laughs> yeah. on a on a, on like, a lark uh, like this. Like a. Like a like a. Uh, the one one of the people from 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 the Jersey Shore, like Pauly D, like Pauly D, DJ Pauly D, like Mike the Situation, Mike the Situation, like Snooky, no, not Snooky. Yeah, you know, we could probably get Tiffany Pollard, aka New York of I Love New York and Flavor oh, yeah. of Love. She's, She's from our hometown. Yeah, yeah, she went to she went to Proctor. Yeah, do you know that we're related to her oh, we're by hometown? We're not really so you're basically twins. We're basically twins by hometown. All right, folks, if you're still listening to the podcast, <laughs> we appreciate you for listening to the podcast, Dan. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, anything to plug? Anything you want to let the people know about? Uh, everyone I know is this is a cool podcast. Uh, definitely <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> it's a great time. Yeah, if you want to come on the podcast, you can. Just hit us up. Yeah, unless you're a freak, in which yeah. case we'll tell you that we will and then never, never get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> you ghosted people? What? What? No, yeah, I definitely have. Oh, really? I mean, not like people that I actually knew. Like, it's just randos have hit me up. Really? Yeah. Huh. Somebody hit me up once and was like, I'm so excited to be on this podcast. I was like, oh, whoa, <laughs> easy, buddy. Mm-hmm. And then I looked at their thing and they were like, There's some, something ain't right about them. Sometimes when people think they're funny, they're, they're just um, racist. Oh, yeah. One yeah. of those. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you want to come on the podcast and you're not racist, you hit us up on Twitter and all that shit. Um, you go to the Patreon, all that good stuff. Uh, Dan, thanks again. And uh, you know what, folks? Be nice to each other. Except for fascists, you should kill be nice to fascists. You should fight yeah. them in the street. Oh, and and, and also, uh, 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 what's his name? Didn't kill himself there. Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. Wow, yeah. you really yeah. botched that whole yeah. joke. <laughs> what's yeah. his name? Yeah, what's his... Okay, fucking boomer. <laughs> <laughs> B. Nice. Nice. Epstein did not kill himself. No, he did definitely, definitely didn't. didn't. There's a lot there's of pedophiles, lot of pedophiles, pedophiles who, are, who are benefiting, benefiting from, from him, him being dead. dead. But he was but also, he was a, also pedophile. a pedophile, so I'm happy. I'm happy. He's, yeah. dead. He's dead. But other people, but other people, but other people could join him, join him, join him, join him, join him, join him. in the grave. In the grave.